Halloween Coco Science Show! Today is my birthday, and so for my birthday present, I want you guys to take this video and share it with one of your friends. Today, we have a very special, important, wonderful, beautiful video from my cousin, Lila. Today, Lila's gonna teach us about warm-blooded animals. <laughs> yeah, Coco, you're a warm-blooded animal? And I'm a warm-blooded animal. <gasps> and this puppy's a warm-blooded animal. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna play with this puppy and we're gonna let Lila tell us all about some fun warm-blooded animals. Bye! Oh no! Kala, you're such a good girl. <laughs> Whoa, why is it so dark in here? Because the, the penguins are found south of the equator. And right now they have 24 hours of darkness because of the Earth's tilt. Did you know that penguins have 100 feathers per square inch? Well, the cold weather penguins anyway. It's to insulate their body and keep them warm. Unlike penguins, puffins can fly and they have hollow bones like most birds, so it's harder to swim to the bottom like penguins. Oh, do you know that both penguins and puffins have an oil that they put on their feathers to make it waterproof? The three-banded armadillo is the only armadillo that can roll fully in a ball. The three-banded armadillo also is a mammal, so it has hairs. They have keratin that is the same as your fingernail or your hair. Madagascar, that's right. Anybody seen the movie Madagascar? Yeah. How many of y'all like the movie? Move it. Move it. <laughs> yeah, this is a critically endangered species, unfortunately, because in Madagascar, their habitat is being destroyed so that families can raise crops and have food to survive. And so, unfortunately, that gives us no place for the lemurs to live. So, all the lemur species in all the world come from Madagascar. And they all are critically in or endangered, critically endangered. Yes. That yep. tail, can he hang from that tail? Or can she swing from that tail? And they cannot. That tail is not prehensile. It is only yeah. there for balance, yeah. like when they jump from tree to tree, because they can yeah. jump 20 feet at a time. Um, what you're seeing right there is one of the reasons they can jump from tree to tree. Um, these animals eat a lot of fruits and berries and seeds, and then they poop a lot of fruits and berries and seeds out. Even though that's kind of disgusting and they don't know when they're doing it all the time, that is actually very important in their ecosystem for replenishing the forest and spreading the trees. Um, they would do something like that, and then the Madagascar hissing cockroaches that we have over here um, would come, and they would eat that poop and help fertilize those trees and then you have a whole ecosystem growing right there. This is my friend, the speckled mouse bird, all the way from Africa. These birds are not very graceful flower flyers. They more like crash from branch to branch more than fly. And they eat nuts and berries in their flock and then they get tired so they just chill in the branches because they're not very graceful flyers, so yeah. Well, Lila, those are some amazing facts about warm-blooded animals. Now, puppy, Coco, for today's question of the week, I think we should do, what's your favorite warm-blooded animal? My favorite is puppies. Coco, what's your favorite warm-blooded animal? Cool. Now I need you guys to thumbs up this video if you learned something new 
and leave a comment down below what's your favorite warm-blooded animal and don't forget to subscribe and share this video bye <gasps>